how is mixing good bacteria with fungicide to fight off fungus misleading or in dangerous? <laughs> I don't recall ever saying that. I don't recall ever saying mixing good bacteria. Well, I don't even know what you mean by good bacteria with fungicide to fight off fungus misleading and dangerous. If I said that, I, I don't recall it. But my response was, I consider any information that is not supported by evidence to be potentially misleading and dangerous if it may result in economic or in environmental inefficiencies. You could just say in economic or environmental harm. So I don't know what he, what was what his issue with neighbor dominator was. I can't remember, but um, that might have been the guy who I was talking about. He was t he was talking about adding a bunch of bacteria and fungus or microbes or something to the soil, and and um, maybe he was a little bit annoyed by by my video. I don't know, but when you go when you start adding microbes to the soil. I don't know what a, well, I have listened to a soil microbiologist. He was from Texas A&M. Wonderful. And he was, he gave the best talk on soil microbiology. One of the most boring topics I could think of to me. And man, I was fascinated. I was just like laser focused on this guy. He was so good at what he, what he did. He came and talked one time at a golf meeting down in South Florida. He was from A&M. I remember that. It was really good. And so I, I can't read his mind. I don't know. soil microbiologist. I don't know what they'd say, but the few times I've heard them talk, they seem to like just be perplexed why anybody would apply any microbes to the soil. <laughs> it's like, and I mentioned that in the video because in a, in a teaspoon, even less than a teaspoon, there's more than a trillion microbes, 10,000, a minimum thousands, thousands of species of microbes in a teaspoon of soil. And, you, and this guy was adding 30 or 40 microbes and thinking he was going to do something. So again, I'm not a microbiologist. I'm sure if there's one listening, they can make their own comments and you know, whatever they say, if they're specialists, then I'll, I would take them before they t you take their input more than, or before I take my input on a soil microbiology. But I've heard a few of them talk and I, I get the impression that they're just wondering what is going on. Why are you guys doing this? <laughs> because there's so many out there already. The environment for the microbes that are existing in the soil is obviously conducive to their growth. You're going to go add in more microbes that are probably mostly dead before you apply them. And then you're going to apply it to an environment that might not be conducive for their growth. So who knows how many die after that? And, and what's the purpose? The purpose is to increase the quality of the turf or increase, you know, nutrient use efficiency or whatever. You know, and you don't, you just don't see that.